Hey, and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna have a closer look at the M104, which is the newer wheel compared to the M103. Now, with the M104, there's a few spec improvements, but it's relatively stayed quite the same. Um, it does feature a new steampunk design. Now, Mr. Lin, who is the CEO of Bigode, has told me that he was inspired by um, some French writers who customized their M103 to have that steampunkish look. So that's what he's gone for, and I think it looks pretty good. It definitely looks a whole lot better than the M103, that old rounded shape design. Now, the M103 also features an off-road tire. Uh, the, sorry, the M104 also features an off-road tire. Now, this off-road tire makes this wheel actually an 11-inch tire compared to the M103, which is a 10-inch tire. Now, if we're comparing it based on specs, both of, the, both of these systems are 84 volts. Now, the M103 is 512 watt hours. Realistically, I never use that in one go. Um, it just means that I charge less. I can take it out more times without having to charge every time I use it. Now, the new M104 uses 750 watt hours of battery. Now, both of these are on 800. Uh, the M103, sorry, the M103 uses an 800 watt motor, and then the M104 uses 1,000 watts. So 200 more watts. And uh, like I said, smaller tire, street tire comes stock with the M103, and stock M104 is an off-road tire. Now, I've been riding the M104 around. I did have a chance to try it out back when I was in Canada, but I haven't had a chance to actually own one. Now, I'm gonna let you guys know already that the M104 is not my favorite wheel. Personally, if you already have the M103, I would not really consider upgrading to the M104 unless Style points is really your thing. The M104 does feature a really bright front headlight. When I say really bright, they say 5,000 lumens. And I guess enough for your ride, but there's, there's absolutely no way that this front headlight is 5,000 lumens, so don't even worry about that. But it is brighter than the M103. It does also have a display up at the front here. Now this display is hard to see, when sunlight is shining directly on it, so don't count on it. But at night, you'll be able to see it just fine. This new handle, this is an accessory that some retailers may have, but I think it's an additional cost. And it's actually um, screwed onto the back. Whereas on the M104, it's zip tied. So, and then on the M104, you also have this trolley handle up at the top here. Now this doesn't rattle around so much. I haven't had it really annoy me as I'm riding around with this. Um, but just by touch, it's not the best quality. Now, also featured on the M104 are these spiked pedals. Spiked. Now the reason I'm gonna put them in quotation marks is that these spikes are more like squares, protruding squares that don't really do a great job. Um, you do have angle adjustability with these pedals which is great if you're somehow a person that really likes to off-road with a tiny wheel. Um, however, the M103's grip tape does a whole lot better. Again, for most people, or at least for myself, I was using the M103 for kind of popping down into the shop and going, you know, doing daily tasks just kind of around my house, not too far, and that's what the M103 is great for. Um, so, Again, that's why I don't need 750 watt hours, and I also don't need spike pedals and off-road tire. The off-road tire does mess with the off-road riding feel. It just doesn't feel, the road feel just isn't great, and you also feel the, the bumps of the off-roading tread. Now, there are riders that have upgraded to a street tire PMT, I believe, which w I would imagine would be great and would improve this wheel a lot. But again, it's kind of stuck between the two, right? So. If you wanna off-road, if you wanna kind of take a tiny inch, tiny wheel and go and do weird things with it like off-road, then I guess, yeah, M104. But for most everyone who's buying a wheel this small, it's gonna be portability, usability, and believe it or not, as you can probably tell, the M103 is probably gonna be easier to pack in a backpack. It's more linear, whereas this is more, uh, it's, it's shorter, but it's wider. So that's gonna be harder to pack into a backpack. Now, in terms of useful features as well, 
the M103 has a USB port and the M104 doesn't. And this thing right here, this is the most important thing, the lift switch. The silver button here is the lift switch. Whereas the M104 doesn't have it, unless it's something to do with this button here. But again, that's not really in where my hands are. So I need a button like right here where my thumb is. Um, and there's just no button there. So slightly disappointed in the usability of the uh, M104. Now, something I've also realized in the past few days is because this is a open concept design or the steampunkish design, this open area right here results in you actually getting splashback. So with the M103, I didn't have that issue at all, whether it's from the back or the sides. But with the M104, you're gonna feel, if you're riding this through pedals or through puddles, you're gonna have some flash, uh, flash splashback from here and also in the rear as well. So if that's something that's, um, you're not, and that's important to you, watch out for that. Maybe you'll need to put a little bit of modification to the wheel. So these pads are kind of integrated into the design of the wheel. There, there's slots for these pads, which is great, but they're also thinner. So you can't pinch the wheel as easily. So if you're going to be taking this off-road, again, why? But if you are, um, I highly suggest you just, you know, finding different mount points because you're not going to be able to just grip with this. Um, whereas this does actually pretty well uh, because this pad is thicker. So yeah, these, that just basically the conclusion or my summary of the differences between the M104 versus the M103. Um, so this wheel, if you're gonna be doing off-road stuff or if you don't have the M103 already, but really, if you can pick up the M103 at a discount um, because it's, I guess, a wheel that's going out of style soon or out of stock soon, um, pick this up. This is, this is a great wheel and uh, I've, been, I've been using it a lot, so. I'd say if you can get this wheel at a discount, definitely go for this. If not, if you really care about style or you like going off-roading or you just like the design of the wheel, then just, yeah, M104. But personally, not my type of wheel. Hopefully this video was helpful and I'll catch you guys in the next review.